This is how to do the Kusama project on Klecky. Step one, go to Google Images and type in coloring pages. You'll see there's lots of different coloring pages available on Google. You can look at the top, there are subcategories such as adult, easy, all sorts of things. Look through them and see which one you like. I'm going to type in um, coloring page butterfly just to narrow it down, you can do that as well. And when you find a page that you like, you wanna click on it to make it nice and large, and then to either drag it to the desktop, or if you're on an iPad, click, hold, and add it to photos. Next, go to clecky.com, and you are going to insert um, from the yellow folder or drag and drop, depending what you're on, as a layer fit, and there you go, there's my butterfly. Now, step one, you wanna use the paint bucket tool to color in your coloring page. And you'll see it's relatively simple to do this. Um, choose whatever colors you like. I'm gonna speed this up. Once you've colored it in, you're ready for your polka dots. So. Um, you can play around with the paintbrush size and of course you can choose whatever color you want. I'm going to choose about um, 30 or so size and you'll get used to um, seeing how it looks and you can change it and alter it however you want. So I'm choosing yellow and I'm just going to click, click, click and because my brush is big it makes a perfect polka dot. Um, I'm going to put the yellow polka dots, and then I'm gonna go back and change the color and do the same thing with a different color. Don't be afraid to adjust your uh, brush size to make it bigger or smaller. I'm now going to do the same thing um, using a pink. So I just click on the color bar and I'm gonna change my color from yellow to pink and continue the process. And you'll see here, I'm going to not only switch the color, but I'm gonna make my brush much, much smaller. And that gives it some interest to make the dots different sizes. Now I'm going to switch brushes. If you look at your brushes on the bottom, um, the, the typical one is the one that has, it looks like a letter S. I'm going to go next to it to the second brush and I'm going to uh, play around with the opacity, make it a little lighter, um, just to give it some interest. You don't have to have full opacity. Right now I'm at 100%, but in a bit I'm going to lower it. And when you lower the opacity, it makes it kind of interesting. Um, the third brush is also something that you can play around with and you can adjust the opacity and um, the fourth brush, same thing. So the fourth brush makes squares. I don't really like that. So I'm going to undo it. I'm going to go to the fifth brush. The fifth brush makes these kind of funky designs. You can see how they look here. I'm going to keep them. They're not um, polka dots per se, but they are kind of interesting. So I'm, don't be afraid is the point to play around with the different brushes and play around with um, the opacity, the size, etc., and you will have an interesting image. Um, also remember, Klecky does not save. So if you close the tab, you lose your project. Uh, so make sure whether you're done or you're not done to screenshot or um, hit that blue down arrow, but it seems that the screenshot is a little bit easier to find. 
So make sure to screenshot, and when you are finished, turn that screenshot into Otis. And here you can see I've lowered the opacity and how cool it looks. And also don't be afraid to layer your dots. You can see I have dots on top of dots. That's it.